Hey guys, this is James. I've got Lauren here with me today. I know I'm cutting off the top of my head, but I've got her beautiful face and that's much more important. But um, today what we're doing for lunch is something my wife requested. It's very hey. different. It is, uh, we're not cooking anything. We are going to prepare a salad and uh, we're doing it a different way. We're preparing this salad the way that we like it here at the Petway Farmstead. But um, Guys, it's very easy to do. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it the same way we do, but it's for stuff you can just pick up from the store. Um, we're going to show you some alternatives to the way that we're doing it that um, that uh, you can do it as well to make it something different than just your normal salad. Or you can just prepare a normal salad, but uh, just in case you never have and you're not sure, that's the purpose of this cooking show. Give you an insight on how to get her done, for lack of better words. So y'all stay tuned and see how we do it on Petway Family Farmstead. One thing that makes a salad more hearty is Protein, uh, protein that you put in it. Um, common sources of protein for a salad would be uh, meat, uh, whether you put uh, chopped chicken in it, chicken breast. Um, uh, we're using sliced sandwich meat today and pepperoni is what we're using for our protein. You can add uh, boiled eggs. Uh, boiled eggs are a very good thing to add for a salad. A lot of protein in there. Garbanzo beans or uh, any kind of beans for that matter, whether you use kidney beans or black beans. Um, those are all some very good sources of protein. We're also going to add some uh, sesame seeds. A lot of people add different kinds of nuts to their salad. Um, adding the protein makes the salad much more hearty. Um, and obviously the more meat or protein that you add to the salad can change it from a um, side dish to a meal. Uh, we're using and the size of the salad can change it from a side dish to a meal. So uh, we're actually using this for a meal today. We're eating it in place of our lunch for that matter and very healthy for all right guys so first thing we're going to make her she wanted a salad uh if you can see this this is going to be lunch for this is a pampered chef i call it a salad kit salad bowl maker something to that effect i'll leave it down in the comments on what it actually is so so he's got several neat features about it you got to stick around and uh i'll show you what they are and my wife is a uh, pampered chef consultant so she can help you out with any of these things uh if indeed you are interested of course, we'll put lettuce in there first. This is just a spring and spinach mix. Unfortunately, it did not come out of our garden. We didn't have a whole lot of success this year, but uh, we do have more planted now. Added some pepperoni. Cheese will fall out the side a little bit, but put a chicken breast or two in there. Let it get cut up. Put a piece of ham in there. We'll let it get cut up. Sometimes we'll add onions, olives. We'll add a lot of stuff. This is actually just what Angela told me she wanted on it right now. So now what we're going to do, guys, put the lid on. We'll flip it over. And then you just, I'll start over here so you can see it. Start slicing. And guys, what this does is it really just incorporates the entire salad. Mixes everything together. So I'll slice. If you never had a what I call a chopped up salad, guys, it's a to me it's just got a whole different taste. It's a whole better taste. So guys, I filmed this a little earlier, but I wanted to insert it in here. There are other ways to uh, make a chopped salad. To me, it incorporates stuff so much better and makes it taste better, like I've mentioned. Uh, you can simply do it with a fork and a knife um, inside the salad bowl. There are stuff offered at big box stores that uh, you may be able to use as well. Nothing does it like the tool that we have as far as we're concerned. It's just so simple and neat and uh, gets the job done. And you know, I'll link that below, uh, link a way to get in touch with, uh, with my wife if you're interested in that, but that's totally your choice. It's just a different salad experience, for lack of better words. All right. And we take it out of there. Put 
We're going to flip it around into here. But you see the difference in the chopped. It just really integrates the flavors. Almost forgot the carrots. So using our, of course, one of Angel's Pampered Chef uh, carrot peelers here. Normally you'd stick this in there first and you can cut it up along with the rest of the stuff while you were cutting everything up. But uh, in the uh, in the salad chopper. And we'll put some of those, I'll put some of those to the side for my salad. I'll put some of them in Angela's salad. sunflower seeds some pepper we got a pepper grinder around here somewhere but uh if you don't tell angela i won't tell okay and uh we use pink himalayan salt doesn't take much of pink himalayan salt and we'll add a little dressing now that take uh the chopped salad it's real easy to over <laughs> over dressing especially when you uh we're gonna shake it all up to incorporate everything Remember, you can always add more. When you shake it up and incorporate it, the dressing literally gets covered on every piece of lettuce, every piece of everything. So guys, if uh, obviously if you're taking this to work, whatever, you didn't want to get soggy or whatever, like you wouldn't put the dressing on there, you wouldn't put maybe the sunflower seeds if you didn't want to, you could stick all of that in these individual pieces here along with your fork, your knife, whatever else you want to put here and here. Um, anything else you didn't want, uh, you could obviously put in here. You could stick that on the top. And then, of course, you could put your top on just like this. And you'd have seal. This goes over that other green piece. And it's sealed and ready to go. Take the work with you. Take wherever. Nice and tight. Stick in your um, refrigerator at work or wherever. Now, I'm going to use it to shake this up. Y'all leave me a comment below. If anybody remembers the um, McSalad shakers from McDonald's. Now, I used to love the McSalad shakers. Love them. And, you know, one of the hottest things since sliced bread as far as I was concerned. But apparently, they weren't as big a hit for everybody else as they were for me. But by golly, I love them. There you go. Everything shook well. It's incorporated. Bone after feet. And we'll go feed this to my lovely wife. And again, guys, I was doing this series not just to show how to make for um, my wife, but hopefully so. Maybe some guys can get a head start or some clues on how to make things for everybody. Took the rest over carrots, stuck them in here. I'm making this one for myself. There's actually enough room in that bowl. I could have just added my stuff to hers and chopped it down. You know, I wasn't sure. I've never used it. And I definitely wanted a chopped salad, so. Add my stuff to it real quick. Then to it it's gonna be mine anyway so there's my salad now i'll eat directly out of this bowl like i would at work or lunch or wherever all right guys grandbabies bailed on me they're outside playing uh they found that was uh much more much more entertaining than eating a salad I guys we appreciate you watching this this was something quick uh we're eating it as a meal you can do it as a side for some of the other items that you've seen on here uh, on our dad uh, cooking shows but um, the main thing guys like i've said before just remember it's the thought that matters keep that up keep the thought keep the thoughts going um, with your significant others for whatever your case might be just random random acts of kindness random acts of niceness 
random acts of doing stuff that is totally unexpected and uh, improve your quality of life and improve her quality of life. Hit that thumbs up, guys, if you like this video. And ladies, if you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell and slide up to the all mark on the notification bell so that you get notified when all of our videos come out and follow our journey as we continue to become more self-sufficient in our homestead, farmstead life and become more frugal and take back what we have lost over the years. Thank you guys and gals. We love you.